Okay, I've had to play around with my audio settings. Something weird happened in one of my recent videos where all of a sudden my voice on my microphone sounded real muffled, especially when I was talking during a video that was playing or just, you know, any noise I would make it sounded real muffled. So it was weird. I hadn't changed anything in my settings before and then all of a sudden it decides to do this. I don't know. So, okay, I've got another... Uh, stand-up reaction type of video that I want to do. I have not done him before, this guy. Um, haven't watched any of his stuff before. I mean, I'm aware of this, this dude. I recognize his name. I may have seen him on talk shows before. I know that something has recently handle, uh, handled... Oh, jeez. It's early the next morning, you guys. I know that something has recently happened with him that has made it to where people are trying to cancel him. From what I understand, it sounds really ridiculous, this, what's happening to him. Uh, so this, of course, makes me interested to check out his material. This one was recommended to me. He's been recommended just in general, but this particular routine, I wrote down the actual title of it. It's called Of Course But Maybe. And I'm going into this totally blind. I have no clue what it's about have not ever seen it before, have not heard it before. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure I haven't because I'm not, there's nothing that jumps out at me when I think of him. So like when I think of George Carlin, I'm a little familiar already with his stuff. And I, when I think of George Carlin, one of the first things I think of is his routine on stuff. Did I say stuff twice? I might have. Okay, whatever. That was not intended. Um, anyway, but when I think of him, there's nothing specific that I'm thinking of. So that's why I say I'm going into this blind. I don't think I've heard this before. Pretty sure I have not. This, this image doesn't even look familiar to me at all. So I'm going to go ahead and check it out. I hope it's funny. I'm in the mood to laugh. It's been a long day. Everybody has a competition in their brain of good thoughts and bad thoughts. Hopefully they win, you know, the good thoughts win. For me, I always have both. I have like the thing I believe, the good thing. That's the thing I believe. And then there's this thing. And I don't believe it, but it is there. It's always this thing and then this thing. It's become a category in my brain that I call, of course, but maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll give you an example. <laughs> okay, like, of course, of course, children who have nut allergies need to be protected. Of course. We have to segregate their food from nuts, have their medication available at all times, and anybody who manufactures or serves food needs to be aware of deadly nut allergies. Of course. But oh. maybe, <laughs> maybe if Touching a nut kills you, you're supposed to die. <laughs> of course not. Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> Jesus. But maybe. <laughs> I have a nephew who has that. I'd be devastated if something happened to him. But maybe, <laughs> maybe if we all just do this for one year, we're done with nut allergies forever. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no, of course not. Of course, if you're fighting for your country and you get shot or hurt, it's a terrible tragedy. Of course, of course. <laughs> but maybe, maybe if you pick up a gun and go to another country and you get shot, it's not that weird. <laughs> right. Maybe if you get shot by the dude you were just shooting at, it's a tiny bit your fault. <laughs> His face. His face. <laughs> of course, of course, slavery is the worst thing that ever happened. Oh dear. <laughs> Listen, 
Listen, you all clapped for dead kids with the nuts. For kids dying right? From just, right? From nuts, you applauded. Oh, so you're in this with me now. Uh -huh, right? You can't, you don't get to can't escape it. Those kids did nothing to you. Of course, of course slavery is the worst thing that ever happened. Of course it is. Every time it's happened. Black people in America, Jews in Egypt, every time a whole race of people has been enslaved, it's a terrible, horrible thing. Of course. But maybe, maybe every incredible human achievement in history was done with slaves. Every single no. thing where you go, how did they build those pyramids? They just threw human death and suffering at them until they were finished. <laughs> How did we traverse the nation with a railroad so quickly? We just threw Chinese people in caves and blew them up and no. they give a shit what happened to <laughs> them. There's no end to what you can do when you don't give a fuck about particular people. Right. You can do anything. That's true. That's where human greatness comes from, is that we're shitty people that we fuck others over. Even today, how do we have this amazing microtechnology? Because the factory where they're making these, they jump off the fucking roof because it's a nightmare in there. You really have a choice. You can have candles and horses and be a little kinder to each other or let someone suffer immeasurably far away just so you can leave a mean comment on YouTube while you're taking a shit. <laughs> oh, goodness. That was short. Okay, I knew it was short, but while it was going, I kept thinking it was going to continue to go on longer and longer. Unless this is the wrong one. Um, one of the react, one of the comedy um, routines that I did a video on. Someone told me that there was actually a longer version of it. Probably would have been better, I guess. Um, but I get his point, and that's pretty hard hitting too, right? I mean. You know, all these great conveniences that we have as a modern society, first world sort of civilization, and it, it much of it really has come from pain and suffering of others. And we, we, we often talk a good, you know, narrative about how such and such is awful and such and such is awful, but at the same time, a lot of the things that we enjoy and appreciate in our life today is a result of that. Okay. Like you think about these, there are weird things that you think about sometimes. Well, I do. Terrible things that happen in history or in your life. But sometimes if it, if it wasn't for that, then this other thing that has occurred would never have happened. Most of the time, if it wasn't for that, this other thing wouldn't happen. And this is really crazy way to think about it. But, you know, if there hadn't been a World War II, many of us wouldn't be here, for example. My, gra my grandfather would have never met my grandmother if he, if he hadn't been in the army because of World War II. So it's kind of creepy to think about things like that, right? But that's just, it's just the course of human history and, and the way things happen and how they happen in a certain way. And here you are. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I, I have a, a decent life and it's because of terrible things that happened in the past. <laughs> so his points are pretty, pretty accurate. And, um, you know, you don't always stop to think about it until it's kind of pointed out to you. Now, I mean, I've, I've thought about things like that before, but, a lot of times people forget. And uh, that was pretty funny when the crowd was clapping and laughing about the prospect of dead kid touch a kid touching a peanut. And then it, when he brought up slavery, everybody's like, ooh. So that was funny. Okay, well, this was good. It was short. And uh, to be honest, I don't really have a whole lot of thoughts to share about it, you know. I mean, sometimes I kind of go on and on and on about something just because it struck a nerve in me and things come to me and I just want to say it. And then other times it's like, well, that was funny and I don't have a whole lot of thoughts to share about it. Because it kind of feels like, um, I don't know, like I'm being lazy, but not really being lazy because I don't want to just 
just blabber on just for the sake of it. I don't want to do that. So that's why I try to pull the plug whenever I realize there's nothing more to say. Nothing's coming to me at the moment, and probably part of it is because it's after midnight once again. So, all right, you guys, this is it for now, and we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.